Hey babies, how y'all doing today? I'm about to make a carrot cake, but I'm making cupcakes. So I'm using the little plastic cups from Dollar Tree. You get a hundred for a dollar. In my cupcake pan, save some time. We all make cakes the same way, unless you're a professional, but I'm adding some stuff and I'm changing some stuff. So they asked for three large eggs, which I have in the bowl. And me personally, I like to scramble my eggs up before I add anything. I like it a scrambled egg consistency. And here you go. Now, my cake mix. says to add one cup of water. I am going to use a cup of water, but I was reading in a local community paper here in Buffalo, New York called The Challenger that tap water is not good for us, which we all know it tastes horrible and you're supposed to buy spring water, but she was saying either buy spring water or distilled water. So I had got this gallon of distilled water at price right for 89 cents a gallon. And it tastes much cleaner than spring water. So I don't know what the difference is. I really can't tell you, but I'm trying new things. So me, myself, I'm going to add that right into my, my egg mixture. And I know you say, why? Because with me, I'm using a fork to mix my cake mix up because my I got to get a new mixer. So this is something I've always done when I was making cakes because I like things to be even, evenly distributed. So I mix my water with my egg mixture. And the cake mix says to add two-thirds cup of vegetable oil. As I didn't got older and had a lot of health conditions, I don't use vegetable oil. I use blend, Capri Tree's blended canola oil and the extra virgin olive oil. So I will be using that in my cake mixture. So that's two and a third, two thirds of a cup. Now what olive oil or any type of oil that's mixed with olive oil, you have to turn it on soon as you're putting your, you got to put your food in the pot. Put your oil in the pot like if I'm frying chicken wings or something, put my oil in the pot and I don't even turn the oven on to start to boil the oil before I put my chicken wings, onion wings, french fries or whatever. I put my, season my stuff and put it in there and then I turn it on because olive oil burns quickly. So I didn't even turn the heat in my oven on even so I would say uh, turn it on 350. I haven't even did that. I'm not going to do that until I put my cupcakes in there. So I'm going to pour my oil into my cake mixture and I'm going to add a little, drop, a little more drop of distilled water just to rinse the oil out the cup so there's no oil left because olive oil is more expensive than vegetable oil. And again, I'm going to stir it with the eggs and the water. This is just the way I do it. It doesn't have to be the way you do it. It's the way I do it. I like to stir it all up. And then I'm going to add my cake mixture. Like any other person would. 
I don't specifically. Grab my scissors. I don't specifically add all the cake mix in at once. But then again, I don't specifically have a routine to it. I just add enough in, maybe about a third of the package. And then I go back in and I stir it. Because when you're using a uh, fork opposed to using a spoon or a mixer, you got more work to do. So since I know I got more work to do, I like to add my liquids in first. So when I do add the cake mix in, it stirs better. To me. Not to anybody else. To me. To me. And I like to take my fork and sort of like mash the little lumps of cake mix into the water and oil mixture. And I'm going to dump the rest in. And mix it all up. And then I'm adding something. That's why I'm showing you how to do this. Because, you know, we all know how to make a box cake mix. Or you should know. I mean, come on now. So I'm stirring it up. As you see, I got some of it stirred already, so I'm stirring it up. Being that I'm making this from scratch, I mean from scratch, from box opposed to scratch, it's got imitation carrots in it. And that's fine, because I don't like per se carrots anyhow. But I'm going to add some raisins to it because you know raisins give us fiber so I like to add different things to my cake mix sometimes it's nuts sometimes it's depending on what kind of cake mix sometimes it's chocolate chips no so I had some raisins that I threw in the refrigerator because I had opened them. And I'm going to put it in this cake mix. So here's mine mixed up together. And here's my raisins that I had in the refrigerator. And I'm going to just dump some in. I want mine to be, have a lot of raisins in it. Because raisins give us fiber. It's not going to taste, change the taste of the cake. It's just going to add a little something into it. I like to experiment with making cakes sometimes. But, well, I put in maybe, maybe a third of a bag of raisins. I don't want it to overpower the cake, but I want to be able to taste it. So, here's my raisins in there. I'm going to mix it up. I might have to put a little more in there so I know every cupcake I have some raisins. And then after that, pour it in the pan, which I'm not going to show you how to do because you know how to do that. And I'm going to put it in the oven 
and cook them until they're done. And then I'll be back with you. So, give me a thumbs up, please. Hit that notification button, please. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I cannot say it enough. Just, ooh, ooh. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Toodles, love you.